has also been volunteered. The uh, site here, the Hutto Martin site, um, I believe to be, um, and the evidence suggests, was the site of the principal mission in Aquera territory, Santa Lucia de Aquera. It was occupied from roughly 1627 or 1628 through 1656, um, the time of the Timucuan Rebellion. What we got? All right, let's take a look at it. Okay. It is a bone fragment or a portion of a bone fragment um, that's coming from the area where we found the trash pit. Among the identifiable bone fragments that we found that have come from uh, the series of pits that we found in this area are soft shell turtle bone, uh, deer bone and a deer tooth, and also very significant pig bone uh, because pigs were introduced by the Spanish. Um, the first record we have of them being brought here to this area was with Hernando de Soto in 1539 to feed his men. And pigs themselves, even the wild pigs today, are not truly native um, to North America. You never know what you're going to find. Every day is different because you're going to find something new every day. And you can be right on top of it or right next door to it, but every day is different. The most common Spanish artifact that we found um, outside of Spanish ceramics are the beads that you see here. Um, there are several varieties of trade bead, including the variety that's called Ichitecne Blue. Um, and we've also found here um, uh, wire-wound uh, yellow amber beads. And that's, uh, to my knowledge, the first time that this bead type has been found in a terrestrial context. They've been found on uh, shipwrecks. The Pinellas point that you see here is the type of point uh, that was being made by uh, the uh, Native Americans in this region. The Bolan point that you see here dates to the early archaic. Um, it was made um, between eight and 9,000 years ago. This particular Bolan was found with Within the wall between two posts of our southernmost structure, uh, the one that we believe to be the Mission Church. See, Dave, slow down, dude. <laughs> Look, what you got, no. babe? Hold on just one second. Our pit, we've excavated part of the area right here, but let me redefine. The edge of the pit runs right to here and of course we've got it down here but you can see where the dark stain is right to here okay. and that leaching over there I'm not convinced is part of the pit I think that's a separate post stain well it, he would just pick stuff off of the ground or you know where we find and then he just put it in his mouth and go hmm bone <laughs> <laughs> This post is smaller than the ones we found in our southern structure, what we believe to be the church. But you can see it here, and you can see this line right here that appears to be a flat surface with a concentration of charcoal. That's what you'd expect in a house floor. In 2010, we're standing, in the modern day, we're standing in the middle of a field that's a cow pasture. Um, it's a cow pasture at the edge of the National Forest. There aren't very many people out here. If we were standing here 400 years ago, we'd be standing in the middle okay, of a major town by the standards of the Native Americans here that would have had anywhere from several hundred to possibly as many as 2,000 people.